How you doing there, gang? It's Dennis Hawkins in Japan. I was not intending to do a live today, but something came up that inspired me to do this live. Uh, one thing was I was watching uh, David Dopkins, not Hawkins, but Dopkins, was watching uh, his live that he just put out recently. And he talked about some uh, factors that marketers need to consider when they're going to do their marketing online. And I encourage you to watch his live. Lots of good content there. So after watching uh, David's live, I was doing my DMO, right? Daily method of operation. And in doing so, I sent a message to someone <laughs> and I was kind of surprised by the, uh, the reply I got back. <laughs> so basically the reply I got back was what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Still, Wow, man, I was like so blown away by it. Okay, let me get to it. What's your best selling product? That was the question I was asked. What's your best selling product? So after watching David Dobkins live and all the good points he mentioned, and then getting whammed by that question, <laughs> I decided, okay, look, I've got to make a live uh, today and uh, and address this situation that I would imagine uh, a large number of online marketers are facing themselves, or they're seeing this quite often. All right. All right. So let's look at this. Well, what did I say, <laughs> basically? What did I say back to the person? I, I said something uh, like, you know, well, actually, long before or way before I start talking about products, there's a lots of information that needs to be gathered first to find out this kind of criteria. All right, and the purpose of this live is to talk about this kind of criteria. All right. Now, of course, we're all sent uh, links from people. Hey, look at this, or watch this video, or hey, check out my product, or hey, you got a problem? My product helps it. You know, but they didn't even ask me what is my problem. <laughs> okay, how do they know if that particular product or service will serve me? How do they know I'm ready to use it, okay? How do they know I even want it or need it, okay? They won't know that if they don't ask me questions, which they usually don't do, okay? All right, so here it is, questions. This is the key, questions. Uh-huh. So when you're doing your daily method of operation and uh, you're starting to communicate with people now, the first thing we need to determine is do they have an immediate need for what you got? <laughs> do they have an immediate need for what you got? No way you're going to know that if you don't ask questions. Okay, so I'm in the health and wellness industry, so I'm going to ask them uh, what kind of uh, health or wellness challenges they have. Okay, that's the first thing. I'm going to ask. That's the first thing I want to hear back from the person. Now, one fella, he's in great condition. He lives in the country, right? He lives in the countryside. He's in great condition. I don't know about the rest of his family members, okay? His mother, his father, his grandparents. I don't know about them, but he personally is in perfect condition, right? Not sick, not in pain, okay? Has good muscle and joint flexibility, he does not have an immediate need for what I've got. Zero, okay? So he and I just talk about other stuff, you know? 
But 99% of the people that I communicate with, either personally, they do have a wellness challenge, or an immediate family member is suffering or experiencing an immediate need for a wellness helping product, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? So, uh, for example, in my case, uh, it was my wife that had the need, right? So I got interested in it because my wife had an immediate need. Uh, the person who introduced me, he did not immediately use this, uh, this product, no. He got it because his wife had an immediate need for it. And so did his knee, uh, his nephew had, a, had an immediate need for it, okay? So there's kind of two kinds of people that are interested in uh, using this type of uh, uh, product. Those that have the immediate need themselves, okay? They're in some kind of a pain that prevents them from being mobile or uh, being able to go to sleep, or, or in any case, it's disturbing their, their life in some way, okay? There's that type of person. The other type of person is someone who has a family member that is experiencing an immediate need uh, for resolving a pain issue or uh, something that's preventing them from, you know, actually living their life comfortably. Okay, so those two types of people, right? Now, I find that a lot of people are the altruistic type. They're the altruistic type. They start because some family member is having a difficult time, so they get this thing, and they help them out with it. Then there's those that actually have an immediate need themselves. Okay, so once I find that, let's say, for example, uh, they have maybe arthritis in their knee. Let's say they have arthritis in their knee and they have to go out and go to work and maybe that work involves standing up. Okay, well, they gotta live, they gotta go out and work, but they're in discomfort the whole damn time, okay, right? So being able to resolve that pain in the knee is something that they have an immediate need for, okay? All right, so when I start to communicate with them and they say, yeah, I've got a knee problem, it's, it's related to rheumatoid arthritis, I've had it for quite a long time. Okay, now that's what I want to find out next. How long have you had a need for resolving this ache or pain? All right, and they said, I've had it for a long time. Well, how long is long? Okay, long is relative, All right? You know, to my seven-year-old granddaughter, long is 10 minutes. 10 minutes waiting in line to get ice cream is long for her, okay? <laughs> Me waiting in line for 30 minutes might be considered long, okay? So long is relative. So how long have they had this need? So if the person says, well, you know, it's been a few months or it's been a few years, then the next question is, well, what are you using now to treat this condition or to resolve this condition or to mitigate this condition? What are you using now? And they'll describe to me what they're using. And usually it gets less and less effective as their condition gets worse and worse. So they're kind of now at a crossroad. I've been using this stuff, and it doesn't work so well anymore because my condition is actually getting worse. There you go. Okay, a lot of it's related to getting older or uh, putting stress on that area of the body. Okay, it's like standing up at work all damn day on an arthritic knee. Okay, so what are you using now? And they'll describe several things. Okay, now the next question I'm going to ask them is what did you use before? So before you're using this stuff, what did you use before? And they'll sometimes say, well, nothing before, or I used these kind of things before. 
but they stopped working. Then that's when I switched to the thing I'm using now, okay? But that's starting to stop working, all right? Well, now we're at the perfect juncture, right? I used some stuff before, it stopped working. I started using this new stuff, but now it's not working so well. We're at the perfect juncture in this conversation to go to this part right here. Are you open to looking at something, okay? Like something new, something else. Are you open to looking at something? If they say, yes, I'm open to it, we start a whole new type of conversation and it's not about the product. Hell no, we're not at the product stage yet. No, 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 we are not. Okay, when they say, yeah, I'm open to looking at something, now we're at the education stage. And I could do a whole new damn live on just that, but we're at the education stage now. That means I'm going to send the person who said they're willing to look at something new, I'm going to send them four or five videos that will educate them on what the product is, how it was created, what it does, how you use it, how other people use it, how they benefit from using it, knowledge, education. Okay, that's the next step. Not here's the order form for the product. <laughs> I almost said that word. I, oh, that word almost popped out of my mouth. Okay. No. Hell no. We're at the education stage, the, the learn about it stage, the knowledge stage. Because guess what? If people don't understand what it is they're about to perhaps experience, they won't take action to experience it. They will not, okay? They got to totally understand it, right? So if they watch like five videos and they see how this whole thing came about and how it works and how other people use it and how they overcame, for example, the arthritic knee using it, they'll say, well, yeah, what the hell? I'll give it a try. And then when I tell them, well, guess what? What you're about to try comes with a 30-day, 100% money-back guarantee if it don't work for you. No-brainer because no risk, right? I've showed this to a lot of people, and there's a lot of people that are using it now based on my introduction so far. Not one person has said, well, you know, it's not working for me. I want to get my refund. Zero. Zero. Okay, but that's not the point. The point is <laughs> the 100% money back guarantee offer exists. Okay, it exists for 30 days, right? Now, most people tell me within 24 hours or 48 hours, certainly within one week, boom, they got a result. They got a result, okay? In many cases, it happens in minutes, okay? Because of how it's designed to work, okay? But what the hell, okay? If it don't work for you, boom, you're going to get your money back for the thing you paid for, all right? All right, so that's it. I'm not going to, like, go back up through this thing. You can rewatch the darn video if you, if you need to. But here's the point. Whenever somebody says to me, hey, tell me about your product or what's your product or how much is your product, I'd say, say what? Say what? <laughs> Watch this video. Watch this video. When we finally get down to here, through, after going through all these questions and you want to look at it, then we're going to start the educational part, the knowledge part, right? Before we ever get to this thing here called the product, all right? Well, this turned almost into a rant rather than a live. But anyway, I had to get my, you know, like D, like D car lady says, something was on my heart. So I had to speak to you. 
about this thing that was on my heart. Well, I just did that because it was on my heart. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I look forward to any comments that you leave uh, when you watch the replay. If you saw the live, cool. If not, a lot of people sleeping now, uh, mostly in the areas that would be watching this. Watch the replay. You know, leave your comment. Hashtag, hashtag replay. I'll get right back to you. I appreciate you. Love you. And by the way, don't ask me about product, okay? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.